To receive regular recipe notifications, do subscribe to Rajshri Food and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Samosa as a snack needs no introduction. It has a special place in hearts and bellies of Indians. So today, I'm going to show you an altogether new variation of samosa, which is the onion patti samosa. Hi guys, welcome to Rajshri Food. I'm your host Ruchi Bharani and let's begin with the recipe. Let's start with heating some oil. In a pan, add 1 teaspoon of oil, not much. Once the oil is nice and hot, let's add in half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. And now, go in 3 onions finely chopped. Just cook this for 1 minute only and turn off the flame. And now, let's get this off the gas. Next into this, I'm going to quickly add all the other ingredients. I have half a cup of poha over here that I've thoroughly washed. Half a cup of freshly grated coconut. Give this a mix. I don't want to cook these ingredients on the flame. That's why I brought the pan off the flame and mixing all the ingredients. And also, I want the onions partially done. Let's add all the seasoning ingredients as well. One teaspoon of chaat masala. 3 teaspoons of sugar 1 and a half teaspoon of ginger and chilli paste Half a teaspoon of amchur powder or raw mango powder Half a teaspoon of garam masala, salt to taste Half a cup of coriander leaves, finely chopped And now let's mix all these ingredients with hand Make sure you nicely rub the masalas onto the onion and the poha mixture. Once the spices are nicely mixed, let's add in one small potato coarsely mashed. Mix it well. The stuffing for the samosas is ready now. Let's start shaping the samosas. For which I have taken these ready-made samosa pattis here. Now all you have to do is follow these two parallel lines. So your first fold will be on the opposite side making a triangle and very carefully again fold it on the opposite parallel line making a cone. Make sure there is no gap at the point. Into this, let's fill the stuffing. Make sure the stuffing is nicely cooled down before you fill it in the patti. Press it down lightly and now again fold the entire samosa on the opposite parallel line. On the edge of the patti, let's apply some maida and water slurry or plain flour and water slurry. Fold it and seal it nicely. In case any of your points are slightly open, you can just apply a little bit of the slurry to seal it so that no oil goes in while frying. Let's keep this aside. In this way, let's shape all the samosas. Once a batch of samosa is ready, make sure you start frying them. If you're making a big lot, half fry and keep them because they tend to dry out if you just fold them and keep. And then whenever you're ready to serve, refry them. I've kept some oil to heat. Into this, I'm going to start adding the samosas now. Once you add the samosas, make sure you reduce the flame and let them fry on low heat. Don't be in a hurry to fry these samosas. Make sure you fry them on low heat 
because all the layers inside need to cook. These have got a beautiful golden brown color. Let's get them out. piping hot delicious samosas are ready. You can even store them for which all you need to do is half fry them and then you can freeze it for 2-3 months and whenever you're ready to serve get it out of the freezer, deep fry them once again and they are ready again. So do try this at home and comment below. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.